What's up guys, it's Rack on behalf of IcySold.com and today I've got a few minutes early look at the Air Jordan 12, the Master. This is the first Air Jordan 12 retro of the year with a couple more really exciting ones coming up, but I like this release quite a bit. I'm excited to give you a look at it a few minutes before the release in case you're on the fence. Hopefully this will help you with your buying decision. If you are excited to take a look, please give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Icy's YouTube channel, please just hit that subscribe button below. If you're watching this on Twitter, hit us with a retweet. It goes a long way. Thank you very much, and we'll start with a look at this awesome box. If you've been in the sneakers for a long time, you're going to recognize the box right off the bat. Jordan went all in getting this box right for us and giving us that retro feel. You have the raw cardboard top and bottom, with the top ordained with that big Jumpman logo, red around the sides, and of course, a black bottom. On the one side, we have quality inspired by the greatest player ever, a detail we'll also see on the shoes. The label reads Air Jordan 12 Retro with an official colorway of black, white, black, and metallic gold. The retail price on these is $190. With the shoe in hand, you can tell right away this is a remastered shoe. I really just kind of base that off the craftsmanship these days. It's real clean craftsmanship, real clean paint, uh, very little visible glue or anything like that. A pretty well executed shoe. The leather, as you can see up top, is pretty nice. It's got a soft tumble to it. It's not a really soft leather. In my opinion, I think they could have went a little bit softer with it, uh, a little bit more deep of a tumbling, something similar to what they used on the Oreo 4 remaster. Uh, but these are $190. It's tough to get an Air Jordan Retro under $200 these days. So I'll take what they're going to give us at that price point. You can see here the lace loop aglets are gold up top. We've got white Jordan brand logo here on the tongue. And of course down the tongue it reads 2-3. On the back heel we get another Jumpman logo at the top of the pull tab. Down the side of the pull tab of course it reads quality inspired by the greatest player ever and ends with another 23 hit on the heel. Moving towards the midsole of course we've got that typical Jordan 12 look, that reptilian imprint in this material here. You've got a really nice 3M hit here, it says Jumpman, it's mirrored on the inside of the sneaker as well. Moving to the outsole you've got two herringbone traction pads, you've got a 23 accent, the Jumpman in white contrasting against that black the black and white checkered carbon fiber, a really cool look. In case you're not familiar with the Jordan 12 or just don't remember, it does feature a full length Zoom Air. That makes this technologically one of the more modern Air Jordan retros and in a lot of people's opinion, still a pretty good on court option. That about does it for the shoe. It is part of the poster pack, which brings me to one more detail worth mentioning, the return of a brand new retro card. Here you can see the poster that inspired the shoe. Although he's wearing a Taxi 12 on the poster, I don't know where they came up with this and why they didn't just remaster the Taxi 12, I guess because of the recent release anyway. This is a great looking shoe regardless, and it's really nice to have the retro card back. That's going to do it for this quick look, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think of it. Tweet it at us as well. If you get a pair, please send us a photo at Icy Soul. Thank you to Lapstone and Hammer for giving us a look at these. Make sure you check them out on Instagram. I believe they're Lapstone and Hammer, and on Twitter, just Lapstone Hammer. Check them out. We'll leave links in the description below. And until next time, guys, I'll see you on the social networks.